G'day folks, Norm here from Norm Life Outdoors. It's a bit of an accident the other day in the boat. You may or may not have seen it. No videos out there. Um, yeah, come a gut from the boat. Cut my foot open pretty bad. Um, popped an artery. Not a bad artery, but still. Bled a lot. Very deep cut. Um, stitches. Now I've got to rest it up. I'm wearing a thing called a heel walker. Get the weight off that part of my foot. Uh, so as a result, I can't work at the moment. It's a bit of a bummer, but um, yeah, I'm going to go crazy if I don't do something. So um, carefully, um, getting around my boat, and I'm going to make a new tunnel tent for my boat. So stay tuned, and I'll take you through the journey. Here's the plan. I'm going to cut some PVC conduit. Um, the idea is to be able to keep it under the seat, so I have to measure the width. I want to cut them to. So I'm going to cut the lengths of conduit at 165. Uh, that's going to be six lengths. I'm going to cut it that um, fit the open area of the back of the boat, and then I'm going to work out some sort of I don't know theory in my head how to cut the front one because the front one's going to be shorter because uh, the taper in at the bow. I've got an idea to make it sit on the rail on the top of the boat um, with some T pieces, and it's going to slice them with my grinder. And, uh, hopefully, they'll just slot in. I'm using my trailer as a work platform because it's pretty good height to work from. This one on just to see how it goes. It's a T-piece. I'm going to put a slot in that so it fits under the gunnel to hold it in. And it's going to join up in the centre piece, which it was the end. And there will be another T-piece on the other end and it should sit up and hold itself up on the boat. That's the plan, hopefully. 165. Texter. I wear glasses, but if you don't wear glasses, put some on. I saw a guy the other day doing this. Sort of he didn't have any on, he'll end up with a sore foot like I've got because I wasn't wearing shoes. <laughs> now, of course, you don't have a grinder, you can use a saw. So that's that piece, and what we want is that's the piece. With the uh, the fat one in the middle. We have to add this piece on. Make it 165. What's the best way to do this, Norm? So if I just put that with the end of that, mark it. Put that to there. Line that up with the end. This doesn't have to be exact. Then we'll get uh, this next piece. A little bit of uh, how tacky my glue is. <laughs> it's funny as. I wouldn't recommend using this for anything substantial. Like water sealing, but. For this, we'll be fine. I'm going to do one to start with and have a look at it. Okay, to ensure that they line up, make my life easier, I'll put them on the ground flat in the middle. And I'm just going to put a line so that I don't have to think about it on the boat. They're just that line goes to the other line, they're going to be in, in alignment. It shouldn't really matter where this goes because it's sort of the same with.
Okay, there's the framework. So, uh, see how it goes with the top on top. <laughs> slight improvement, pretty big improvement. I was talking to my neighbour, he was looking at it and uh, decided we had some bungee cord to um, just tie a double knot in a piece and use that like a, a loop around, a uh, sprung loop around that just goes through the eyelets into the um, front and back poles. No, it's made a big improvement. I still think I need a bigger, a bigger tarp. But um, yeah, I could use this. I don't know about using it in the teaming down rain. I don't think that would work very well. But this is an overnight shelter to keep the dew off. It worked quite well. So I'm mucking around with some bungee cords. Uh, some hockey straps, a few different things. It's working. But yeah, I'm gonna gonna have to get a, a different size tarp and um, probably customize it a bit. But yeah, it's gonna be gonna be all right. I've been doing this today with my old tarp and some. PVC conduit and some fittings and bungee cords and stuff and all to avoid probably going insane but uh, yeah it, it's not a hundred percent success but it's certainly not a failure um, I'm going to measure up this tarp I'm not sure what size it is get a big one um, maybe get some velcro and stuff some glue, an eyelet maker, some eyelets. Make something that's going to fit, it's going to work. Um, yeah, no, it's going to be good. Thanks for watching.